So it's been a little bit now that I talked about the Mission Fleet Bad Batch Clash or whatever, Commando Clash, whatever it was called. It's been a little bit. Uh, they made Tex separately, and I was like, I don't know when Tech's going to come out. I don't know how to get him. But <clears throat> walked into Target, found Tech, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, so we are here talking about Bad Batch Tech. Let's get these guys out of the way right now. And per my usual fare with these... Uh, with these Mission Fleet reviews, it's going to be an unboxing because it's such a simple toy. It's, you know, this video would be literally nothing if I just talked about it right out of the box. So let's open it. You know, let's have some fun. Let's let's open it. Let's get the experience together. Oh no, you ripped the box. The collector value's been reduced to nothing. And I always think it's kind of funny seeing how they package stuff nowadays. Um, they definitely rely a lot on cardboard. Which is a good thing, because cardboard's less hazardous for the environment. You can literally just chuck this in the recycling bin when you're done. Like, I'll do. But yeah, here's a, a part of the ATRT. Because for some reason, he comes with an ATRT that's Bad Batch themed, instead of like a speeder bike that would, I don't know, make sense. <laughs> but yeah, let's just tear into it. We'll just we'll rip and we'll tear. And we'll get it out. Come on. Come on out, egg. There we go. And then this, I'm sure, is the weird cardboard baggie of accessories. <laughs> Interesting. And there's the figure. He's all comfy in there. Look at him. He's all comfy. Are you comfy, Tech? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty comfy right now. Oh, that's cool. We're getting you out. No! No! There we go. He's out. Um, He's very gray. I'm kind of surprised. He's a very dark gray. Wow. He's pretty dark. Uh, <laughs> so, here's the weird baggie. Let's let's get right into this, I guess. This is so weird. I've never seen Hasbro package accessories like this. Plastic bags, yes, but you know, cardboard paper bags, no. It's a good thing though. It's a good thing that we're moving away from so much plastic. Let's pour it out. It's so weird. It's so weird just putting toy plastic bits in a in a paper bag like that. You hear the Lego's actually going to move away from the plastic bags? That's going to be interesting. He comes with a lot of accessories, though. It's kind of surprising. Um, so that's a part of the ATRT. And yeah, he, he comes with a lot of tools. Um, he actually comes with something that's probably going to make some Black Series collectors upset. So yeah, let's get all this trash out of the way. Let's talk about the figure. So here we have all of our components, and let's just assemble it. So this ATRT is nothing we haven't already seen because it's basically just the same ATRT we've already gotten, just in Bad Batch colors. I mean, it's an ATRT. Did we need this? No, not at all. Do I need it? Not at all. Will I display it? I might not even display it. It's neat though. I mean, it's an ATRT. We can get that on. There's a very loud helicopter flying. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh my gosh, that was loud. <laughs> but yeah, you get the the shooty missile. It shoots. That's pretty neat. You can put that you know, like there or something. Still, I feel like would have made more sense if you could, I don't know, put it where it actually would make sense. It's kind of just on the side of the leg where it makes no sense, but it's all good. Yeah, it's got some deco. It's got some little pouches there. It's got some red. It's got some grays. It's got a nice little 99 in the skull. It's it's cool. For some reason the turret still doesn't rotate for whatever reason. You still move the legs. It's it's an ATRT. It's cool. But Tech himself, he's uh, he's got a lot going on. So he's got his backpack. I was kind of worried he wouldn't have that because none of the pictures on the box really showed him with it. Yeah, let's see if I can still pull that out. Yeah, none of the pictures on the box really show it. Like, I mean, I guess it sort of does. You can see it just kind of poking out right there. It's just sort of poking out, but you can't really see the antenna or anything. And on the on the front, it he doesn't look like he has it at all. <laughs> so I was actually worried that were they not going to give Tech his backpack? Because that would have been a little concerning. But no, thankfully he does have it. So he is physically all there. What's he got? Well, it looks like he's got a flashlight, I'm going to guess. And I guess that's a flashlight of sorts. Um, he also has this little tool of sorts. That's a neat little tool of sorts. He also has that weird thing that the doctor bangs on your knee to see if you have the reflex that works. <laughs> um... Yeah, he's got this little hammer tool, I guess. But most importantly, it comes with this data pad. <laughs> that's kind of funny because, you know, that's an accessory he uses a lot in the show. And Black Series, you know, that premium line that's supposed to include a lot of stuff, just didn't give it to him. He's got the red striping all down the arms, which is nice. 
I don't know if he's really missing any deco from the character design. I really can't tell you. I'm not too familiar with the design, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, he does have the, the painted goggles and all that, which makes sense. It's a super tiny figure. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't expect clear goggles out of this, but, you know, I did out of Black Series. So yeah, he's got all these little accessories. He doesn't really have anywhere to store them, unfortunately. So I don't really know which one makes the most sense for him. I guess this, I'll give him this. This weird little tool right here. Yeah, there's no place to store the other ones, so... Hopefully I don't lose those. Ooh, ooh, maybe an idea. Can they maybe store up in here? Like if you just kind of wedge them in the backpack? Yeah, so maybe. Uh, <laughs> it, it almost worked. Here, maybe you can kind of like wedge it up in there. Look at me with my big brain ideas. See if this works. Maybe if I invert them and wedge the backpack. Eh, it's not a so It's, it's a... It's a solution, I guess, if you really want him to have everything on him, but doesn't look that good. It's not really, it's not really working out for me, so let's just keep those off. But yeah, I mean, he's a Mission Fleet figure. He's got articulation. He can move. Um, <laughs> these are basically the only Bad Batch figures that are readily available at retail. So if that shows you Hasbro's priorities. <clears throat> now granted, yeah, Lego was like, hey, here's all the Bad Batch and their shuttle and relevant speeder bikes and their Gonkatroid all for a hundred bucks. You know, they they kind of got it. But bad but Hasbro, they split them up, individual releases, and tax off on his own for some reason. Yeah, kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird, but hey, you know what? It's all good. Those accessories, man. I really hope I don't lose those. I don't know if there's a place that I could just keep them on the ATRT. I don't think the I don't think so. They're just they're just so tiny. I wish he would have had clips on his backpack for him. Because I mean, it's this is a very toyetic toy. I don't think anyone would have cared if he had big old clips hanging off his backpack where he could have everything on him. Because you know he's not like the Black Series where he can actually have his tools on him separately. So but yeah, let's get the let's get the batch together. Let's do it. So here's Tick. I have to do it. I'm sorry. Here's Rika. Here's Ikari, here's Hanta, then here's Crosshair. So yeah, Crosshair's not a member of the Batch anymore. But yeah, there we go, there's uh, there's that. I think it'd be cool if they did do an Omega and uh, a Republic Crosshair. I think that'd be neat. I, I wish Lego would do that too. I think that'd be neat to get like maybe another set with uh, Omega and then Imperial Crosshair. Something like that. That'd be kind of neat. Maybe a Phase 2 Rex. Sorry, different subject. <laughs> but yeah, pretty neat to complete the team here. No, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it definitely was like, you know, oh, nice 20 bucks for four of them, but then you have to spend 15 to get tech and then an ATRT that, I mean, it's, I'm sure kids will love it. It looks pretty cool. It looks the part. It feels durable. It feels nice. But for collectors, which this is 100% not made for, uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't really, it's not really relevant. But it's it's still a cool vehicle. I just wish it was a speeder bike that would have made a little bit more sense for the Bad Batch because they've actually used speeder bikes. Or it would have been cool if they did a big old Havoc Marauder, kind of like how they did the big Razor Crest Millennium Falcon. But, you know, it's all good. You know, it's 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 not the end of the world. It's I didn't really mind doing it. It's, it's still cool to get the Bad Batch in another weird toy form. No, I'm not going to get the Hot Toys. I don't like them that much. But, you know, this is like my third iteration of the Bad Batch team in toy form. I'm pretty happy with it. Still my, uh, well, not my only Echo because I got the Lego one. But, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's neat. It's neat to have them. I like them. Alrighty, I don't have much else to say. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Special shout-out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for the continued support. I really appreciate it. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.